Hey guys, how is your day going? Graham here, coming live. Um, I'm actually in Liverpool today. Today is Wednesday. I hope you've had a great day. I have uh, been here um, in an apartment here today making videos for five hours for my ministry school. So doing lots of teaching into a video camera. And then I went to the town um, I grew up in, was at high school in, a place called Cheshire. Did some shopping there. I'm about to have an early evening and getting ready for my last day here. I'm going to be home in uh, the United States on Friday. Looking forward to being there. So yeah, having a good day. Pray all's well with you wherever you're at. I've actually just had a really great week with the Lord. Sometimes there are times and seasons, you know, when you need to get away with God and he works on you and does some things. And, you know, one of the things he's been speaking to me about this last week is just living from that place of innocence in him, of coming back to simplicity. Paul wrote in 2 Corinthians, um, I want to say chapter 10, and he said, I fear, he's writing to the church he loves, church he planted, and he says, guys, I fear that in the same way um, Eve was literally used the word seduced, like led astray by the serpent, that he says your mind would be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Jesus Christ. And I just want to drop that little thought in you today. God calls us to a place of purity and simplicity with him. You know, one of the worst things we can ever do in the Christian life or in ministry is become experts. God help us from becoming experts. God wants us to be those who are so simple in our faith that everything is easy, that we live not childishly, um, but from a childlike heart. You know, one of the scriptures nearly everybody knows um, and that people often quote is Matthew eleven twenty eight, 28, to which Jesus says, come unto me, all you who are heavy laden and I will give you rest. He says, take my yoke upon you, learn of me. But if you go back a couple of verses before that, literally in the context for that thing, Jesus prays this really cool prayer. And he's praying to his father. He says, Father, I thank you that you hide things from the experts. You hide, hide things from the wise and the prudent. But you reveal things to babes, not Baywatch babes, but little babies in that way. Think about that for a minute. Jesus said, God hides things from the wise and prudent, the experts. And the danger of becoming an expert in the Christian life is, is just that. You think you're an expert and suddenly you don't see. God starts hiding things from you. I would hate God to hide things from me. I want God to reveal things to me. There are things you and I can do which will posture us to receive more revelation from God to walk with him. And I think when we have that childlike humble heart, that innocence in our walk with him. God loves, God is pleased to give us revelation. And when we think we know it all, um, he starts hiding things from us. Yeah, I was been around lots of different Christians on this trip and um, I was with somebody the other day and I won't mention who and they, it's like they started saying, yeah, the problem with the Christians is this and the problem with the church is this and the problem with that is this. And I I started saying, you know, I, I love doing that when I'm with people. Lord, how do you see this person? And, you know, the danger whenever we start saying the problem with blah, 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 the problem with that. And, you know, in God's ears, in God's eyes, I think he hears it like this. It's like we're saying, Lord, I see everything. When somebody tells you the problem with so-and-so is so-and-so, what they're actually saying is, I see what you don't see. I see more than you see. I'm an expert in this realm. I have a better vantage point than you do. My judgment's better than their judgment. And that's really sad, isn't it? The Apostle Paul put it this way. He, should, he said we should be wise in that, regarding that which is good. And we should actually be foolish concerning that which is evil. We shouldn't be experts in what's going wrong and what other people are going wrong. I don't want to become an expert in where people are missing it. I want to become an expert in the heart of God. I want to become an expert in the goodness of God. And I just encourage you, because I think we all miss it along our journey. We all lose those places at times. And there have to be those times and those seasons when we come back and we just find again the joy of our salvation, where we just rejoice in loving him. And I've had a few days now where I've just been recalibrating my heart and coming back. I was driving the other day on my way into Wales and it was raining and um, 
You know, somewhere along the journey, I just um, I actually pulled my car over to the side of the road, got off, got, out, got outside of my car in the rain and just raised my hands and said, I love you, Jesus. I love, I'm excited about Jesus. I'm excited about the things of God. I'm excited about the word of God. I'm excited about what he's called me to do, but I'm also more excited about who he is. And um, that's just my encouragement to you today, wherever you're at, don't become an expert. Hmm. Come back and find that joy in Jesus. Find the joy in who we are, yeah? You know what, you can never really win the rat race. You can never really win the, um, you know, the game of the numbers game. Are there enough people? Are you doing enough? Are you racking up enough points? It, it's a game you can never win. You've got to find your satisfaction in him, yeah? Psalm 107 says, um, I believe it's verse 20, he satisfies the longing soul and fills the hungry with good things. If your soul is long enough to him, he'll satisfy you. Psalm 42 says, as the deer pants for the water, so my soul longs after you, O God. And I think we wanna get that in that relationship with him where we're just thinking about him all the time, we're thrilled with him, we're delighted to be in Christ Jesus. Great guys, hey, thanks for watching. Um, I'm gonna start a new series that will be uh, beginning tomorrow, so some, some new announcements, some new things going on my channel here. Again, if you're new to my YouTube channel, why not hit the subscribe button down there and also check out the links below. Sign up for our email newsletter and we send you a free gift when you do that. And wherever you are, walk with God. He loves you. Come on, walk with him, walk in the word, become a person of faith. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.